Oh. The don't worry, don't no, 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 no that never no. happened. Right. Let's, <laughs> let's, okay. All right. So the rest of you. Uh, the rest of you go to the Burger Master's uh, mansion. Yes. Yeah. Um, as you approach the mansion, the, the uh, double doors that are leading to um, to the entranceway to the mansion <coughs> are shut, and there is a guard stationed outside. Mm-hmm. Just talk to the guard. It's daylight. You're allowed to. Mm. In fact, he's probably. In fact, if you do, he'll probably like react in utter horror of, of, of <coughs> possibly offending you. Did we need an appointment to see the movie last time? I can't remember how it worked. We, we just were, turned, we, up. You, we turned, you up turned up. We turned up and asked for an appointment. Well, that's what we do this time. Yes, we do that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, the guard <coughs> looks at you and, and says, uh, "My apologies. The burger master was not receiving anyone at the moment. There has been uh, a family emergency." Oh dear, I wonder what that's about. Mm-hmm. You've scuppered us now. Uh, Let's go. Our apologies. That's, that's not much we can do about that. We're, we're sorry we, we, we had nothing to do with causing the family emergency. <laughs> we, we did not hide the Burgermaster's son and... We are so in trouble. <laughs> Let's go, find, let's go find them bones. Why, why are you realising this thing now? <laughs> let's, let's return first to the inn. Oh, I could have solved this problem. The phrase on discretion is the better part of valour come to mind here. Reconnoiter <clears throat> with, uh. with the other members of the party. Uh. As, you, as you turn to leave, the double doors in fact fly open. Ah. And the Burgermaster's wife runs out <laughs> calling after you. What's her name again? You'll get it. You'll just get to hire you to investigate. What, what, what's her name again? Um, I can't remember. Or do I just call her Frau Lydia. Burgermaster? Burgermaster Meister. Lydia, what's wrong? Oh! Oh, it's terrible! Oh, it's terrible! Is it Victor? My son! My son! What's wrong? He's always never leaves the house. He never leaves. He's always upstairs. And, and yet this morning, he was, he was gone. Ask if the cats were still I motion. feel like something horrible has happened to him. He never leaves? He ever. never leaves that house. He never ever he leaves. Never Are you sure? Just leave that house. We could put him in just a random house and say he's a He never leaves. He is a teenager. It's not uncommon for teenagers to run away from home. <laughs> he's probably dead by now. Oh, stop that. He's probably dead. He's probably dead. <laughs> he's probably Pining dead. for the viewers. <laughs> 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 So oh, going to probably introduced him to an escape tunnel that isn't. So, uh, people I've are asked my husband, for him, or? I've asked my husband to send guards, but he will not. He says that the festival will bring him back. Is that reassuring? <laughs> I tried to be reassured by his but I don't know. Where do you think he's gone? Maybe to the church. Why Maybe have you gone to have a look? No, I Why not? Preparations for the festival to close. The arrangement. Oh, not... If you find him, he'll just tell her everything. You Please. have to kill him to silence him. <laughs> Please, if you see him. Absolutely. I need to know that he is safe. I'm trying to save. Oh, you Again, monster. Teenagers often run away. Oh, I'm sure monster. he'll return soon. What's your alignment? Oh, you monster! As soon as he misses, he goes over to serial killer. Apparently, <laughs> gradually drifting. We'll, 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 go, yes. we'll keep an eye. I don't know what I would do without you. Me? <laughs> it's Ramsey Bolton. No, yeah. uh, he's chaotic. You were such a great comfort to me. Oh, oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> and she goes and starts to go back to his house. If if he's Ramsey Bolton, can we get anything out of this? Then voice? what the hell is Victor? The door can we get he's, he's, he's Charles Mason. <laughs> Charles Mason. Okay. Mason. If you wish to say something before she goes in, I'll leave. Is there something oh, we could ask? Meta discussion here. Yes. Because I wasn't here last time. Get the pass. Why do we have him in your hotel room? That's a good question. What the hell are we actually? <laughs> doing? From he what he now we he asked this didn't question. trust his parents and thought they were going to do terrible things. Right. Him. Okay. He okay. asked to escape the town, and I said, "That's fine, hunky dory." Okay. 
It seems logical because they're all freaking out of their minds. Mm. Okay, well, at the so time, I said we'll see. The time, he was the he was I saw these guys were the organising the path for us to get out of town. Yeah. And we cats and a couple of like all the zombie kids. We did each organise that. Apparently so now we're in a bit of a pickle. No, but yeah, my she obviously that, that trusts makes me. It so much better. Right. Uh, thinks I'm going to help her find him. The Burgermeister the is probably pissed off as hell, but doesn't want to disturb his festival. And I imagine what's his name all oh, with his hands. Simply want some wood and tinsel. Simulacre. Right. So I'm wondering what's going ah, on. So Victor. So Victor. I had sorry. I had judging from what these clowns were saying, I had the idea that you'd kind of. Strapped him up in a crucifix in your no. room or something. No, I'm a, we were hiding him there. Oh, we, we could get to that. I don't know what he's like in the room. I haven't, I haven't yet to ask. He may have done it to himself. Who knows? We could have asked that. Alan is a bugger. The so idea was we were going to do a quest where we're going to go and get like wine for the that innkeeper, right, which will get us a pass out of town morning. because otherwise you cannot get out of town. Okay, right. Okay, gotcha. Everybody comes in the town for the festival, but nobody said they could leave until after. So what you're saying is this town is the Hotel California. How are we getting out of town? Yeah. How are we getting out of town? Check out any time. What's the alternative to the alternative? What are we doing? How are we getting out of town? <laughs> Get the way! And you are both earnestly, so earnestly looking at me and going, so how are we going to do it? All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the DMD groups in the world. Like <laughs> you had a fire. <laughs> exactly. I was describing that you guys were going to get that pass while I got Victor out. But oh, the pass. I was unconscious. That's why you went there. We did. Oh, oh, we need to ask. Oh. All right. Can, can, we, can I just suggest you guys write down every time you're going to do something? How do we get the pass now? Right. Well, we can't get the pass now. That's not going to happen. Do we just bolt out of the city? No, we can't. It's, it's very well guarded. It's got a big wall around it. Oh, and and who, happens to be, <coughs> who happens to be head of police? Is that someone we might know? Oh, Jesus. Who might be able to give us a pass? I'm not sure why he would, but I'm just no. saying. Where are we going to find him? If I He's make, probably in there. At least as He's far as Victor is concerned, policing. I did give, send out that email four weeks ago, suggesting that we could simply use invisibility mm. and the Featherfall mm. spell and simply allow him to escape over the rear wall of the town and he could make his way up. Now, that does not happen that work for our good. group because we're yeah, doing we're semi-official really business. <laughs> but That's for Victor, terrible. he can escape this evening under the cover of darkness and invisibility. Oh. That is not a problem. We just have to keep him hidden. That's all. I have to say, well, I also have Pass Without Trace. Which allows me to move. Veil of shadows and silence radiates from This you. explains why we do your alignment. You know, we could just escape. You were doing, doing something that just seems so dastardly evil. But You're I not. Okay, that makes sense. Where nobody no, I'm neutral. I'm kind of neutral. Okay. So everyone within the area can come with me. But they'd hear yeah. you going through. No, yes. because it's a veil of shadows and now. silence. Oh, oh, let's okay. just think about this. Like Obviously, the absence of Victor is so going to cause. Chaos and confusion so from the Burgmaster no. and especially his wife. Obviously, I we want to help Victor escape, out. so we can't bring Attack him back. The castle. Can Attack we the nevertheless use the confusion of his confusion. absence to our advantage? Yes. If so, how? But I think we still need to get Victor out before we do that. Could we? Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Well, get him yeah. out okay. this evening. But, I mean, in the subsequent days, him, yeah. how can we use his absence to our advantage? Right before she goes yes. back inside, can I ask her whether is, is Isaac or King? We're not evil. Like Isaac's the chief of. You're not evil. Yeah. I'm yeah. evil, but you're it, not. Isaac. 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 He's looking for him. I'm not sure. I don't really get to talk to him. All right. Exactly. Question. Isaac, Thank you. Isaac, Isaac, we'll we'll Isaac, do our best for you. Isaac, Does Victor mind. enjoy going out of the city into the woods or anything like that? No. no. He's mad. He has never been outside of the city. Hmm. So you're, th- so so you're saying... Over the walls, he'll hang on a minute. He'll he'll do do just just fine. Fine. So you're yeah. saying... I don't know why you're talking yeah. to me since you're not here. That's a good question. <laughs> 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 He's you're, doing it through me. You're stopping me from vampiring everyone and turning them into the Hulu right. states. <laughs> the Hulu you, states. You're absolutely sure he's never given any suggestion he wanted to leave? 
<laughs> That's suspicious. Never the food oh. steak. Anywhere where he wanted to go. Victor spends all of his time in his room. Occasionally he comes down to eat with us, but not of late, not very often. Does he go with you to the church? Uh, he doesn't when you go to like church. the church that much. No. Okay. I know. And he's never he gone to the theatre or the movies or a book Or done or teenage boy romance. things like going carousing. Or, a, or an atheist. He's a bit young. <laughs> They're going to be young and foolish is people. How old do you look? Is he like 14 or something? Oh, oh okay. okay. So that's so like, my apologies. Oh, yeah, it is way too young to be carousing. screaming just out of the window. Given his age. I feel like he, he's a teenager and it's, it's quite possible it's he has decided to sneak out in the night. Let we'll go and have a look for him. 14-year-old kid in the really, world of Raven Log. It's, it's, it's really, it's really, it's it's really important that we don't cool have a look about in the forest because proposing. otherwise we've just not looked everywhere. Is there, a, is there a way for us to leave the town and go look for him outside the town if we think we've left? Possibly. Oh, you mean you being this bastard. close to the festival... My husband honestly believes if the festival goes well, all will be well. Okay. Will no, okay. all right. no, we don't just give up there. We say, I think he may, I, th- I think we really need to get out of the city and look for it. <laughs> I otherwise think we the, really otherwise need to get the out of the city and look for it. Otherwise, the festival will suck. Not too much, I can't remember at all. <laughs> okay, otherwise, the festival will suck. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> no. uh, you heard what he said. Uh, I will see what I can do for you now. All right. Oh. Good. We'll go and check out the church. Thank you. I suspect she under the circumstances we might need to be seen to be moving around asking about Victor, even if we're actually doing other things. We'll go to the church and we'll go to the to the Victorium to see whether he's there because maybe there are other teenagers there that he goes out with all night. We should interrogate Ritar though, because that'd look that'd be really convincing. Mm-hmm. Let's no. do it. So where are you going? <laughs> We're going to the church. Do you collect dust first or? To see if he's there. Dust. Do, do you collect? <laughs> do you collect yes. us first? <laughs> do you collect dust? <laughs> dust. <laughs> do floss. No, you guys, are, you, that's your job. Your only job now is to look after those people. Okay, right. <laughs> are they still are alive? Split? Yes, they are. Are they still alive? That's yes, they right. are. That's right. We've got those Absolutely. Stones, don't we? Are they still alive? Yes, yes, they, they are. are. <laughs> and um, yeah. We check him. We check every fifteen minutes. Okay, so you head back to the church. You see yep. the um, Yeska is there. He's cleaning. Yes, uh, yeah, that's the key. Right? Various, um, mm-hmm. uh, various religious statues and things around the um, no, around the, the, boy. the church. Uh, ask him if he knows you. Knows you Victor. Um, People are pretending to look for Victor because we're Ask him if he knows Victor. Apart from, okay, but That's a good apart from Yeska cleaning things, uh, there are a couple of people um, in the church praying. One, uh, we should light one again woman. For Victor's safety. That's probably. Maybe <laughs> she's about. You, yeah. She looks to be about sixty. She's crying. She looks like she's been crying for for quite a while now. You see. You see no. Um, no hint of Father Lucian, though. He's been horribly murdered. Hooray. And Donna was nowhere near him. Yeah! That's what you see as you enter the church. <laughs> Can I ask the, the teenage guy whether he knows who's doing it? <laughs> he said he was also cleaning boy. around the church. He's, he's, old old old. Old. Yeah, yeah, he's, like about, he's like about eight or nine years old. Mm-hmm. But he's old enough to be off his anime. No Star Wars references, please. You're an uh, angel. Do you know Victor? The Burgermeister's son? <laughs> Victor Burgermeister? He's, he's <laughs> thinking about it. And he goes... Yeah? Yes. Who? Have you seen him recently? He has to come out for festivals every so often. Uh, yes. Where did you see? Him? It was it was playing in the town square. Oh, when was that? Jesus. A couple of days ago. A couple of days. Ago. Oh. I thought, I thought so not not yesterday. No. Eighty five percent, mate. That should do you. Yeah. We'll do the no. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. If you see him, let us know. Victor, light a candle Thanks. for his safe return. I haven't seen him. 
All right. But if you do see him, yes, let me know by telling me. Oh. <laughs> and only me. When no, you see no one else. When I see Victor. Well, if you see Victor, if you see that way, oh. you can dispose of him too when he becomes let inconvenient. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Wow. I need to get back to my cleaning now. I, that's very true. You did that. Don't, don't, don't. Good. La, 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 la. Thank you for telling me, young boy. Now into the cupboard with you. Whoa. Should we go to the orphanage and to- torture another teenager? Well, that could, that child was not a teenager. That was from the no, from right. the side room. Um, At best, a twin. Father Lucian Petrovic. He lives. Uh, comes out. And he hasn't committed suicide yet. <laughs> and he's, what? He looks up in, and of course he recognises you all, and he and he says, "Welcome back to <coughs> St Adriel's Church." I'm not there. I'm. No, well, I, I'm just That's talking why I in general. Welcome. Not. <laughs> May the morning Lord continue. You're a vampire. You're not allowed in churches. And to you too. I got in there last time. I trust you have slept secret. Ah, I am tired. We didn't sleep well. I'm being polite. I tell you that this guy is because I've never met him in my life. But we didn't sleep well. We (laughs) played pop last night because we were up past curfew. And you know that there was a rule about curfew. And barely escaped a paddling. Yes. Nearly escaped the panel. One should not mention these sort of things in polite company. <laughs> Will there be torture? I ain't polite. My daughter, I am sorry to hear such a thing. What? <laughs> oh, yes, that's right, you're a woman. So you were here yesterday? My yes. You were here yesterday, weren't you? I was here yesterday. You can talk to me. My understanding is the guards only imprison people who have done something wrong. Yes, if I as have, I said, we did something wrong. My office is available for confession if you would like to come with me. Go, uh, go there, mate. You, you know this guy, don't you? What's, what's your language? You, you can distract him from talking to me. <laughs> Perhaps something weighs oh God. heavy upon <laughs> your heart. Help. Yes, something that weighs you heavy upon your heart. Ah, you are you joining in, are you? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe your clothes feel a little too tight. <laughs> Would you like to join me in the clothes loosening room? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I shouldn't go in there. Uh, no, you shouldn't. I may, I may end up actually at that trial. Brother Karen, it is good to see you as well. <laughs> sorry? It is good to see you as well, Brother Karen. Yes. It's good to see you as well. I'm all play hell, Saxon. The blessings of Malachi on you. I'm just you. waiting for the gun bands to attack. And the blessings of Malachi on him, because it's repeat your line. And the blessings of Malachi on yourself as well. Uh, the morning Lord protects all. Yes, and the moon. Lord, <laughs> <laughs> and we are wearing clothing. Yes, we are both wearing clothing. And they are sufficiently loose and tight. Get to the point, you kid. Oh, my goodness. Well, I know it wasn't I know. my choice to come to the church. Um, it was his choice. Have, have you been successful in... We are still pursuing that lead. Those le- we're, 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 we are hoping to acquire more information. I, I, I must admit, when I saw you enter the church, my heart lifted because I thought, <laughs> yes, you had returned with the bone. Yes. I, I hope to acquire them soon. <laughs> Maleki willing. <laughs> I'm sure Maleki will be with you in your adventure. Please now I must see to my congregation. Yes, please do. Uh, Will Mina, you need to stop crying. I'm sure you will see him soon. Ah, the adventure hook. Go get yes. us. Because we need cascading adventure hooks. We have quite a few on. We're juggling quite a few right now. Go get another one. I collect them. I still haven't dug up that grave I want to. I can't do any blessing. I thought I'd be able to do some kind of bless, but I can't. Just, just go and bless her you anyway. You hear her say to him. Sincerity's not in town at the moment. You hear, you hear this woman say to him. Yes. He's not coming back. He's been taken. I'm just going to go over there. Demand I am a priest as well. It's time for priesty time. 
Priest Titan. Priest Titan. Priest Titan. Everybody, Priest Titan. Priest Titan. Maliki is my actual um, god, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I, I was saying so. Yes, well, this is what you've always told me, so I'm just going with it. So, but it's not, it's not his god, but he's being polite to me. You're of a similar alignment to the Morning Lord. Yes. So that's, how, that's, that's why he receives you within the church and and all the rest of it. Just and he, and he understands there are other you know, de- deities rather than just the morning lord, but that's yes. the one he worships. Yeah, we both, we both. It's they're both aspects of nature. So Absolutely, it works. it works perfectly well. And later on, you can say bye to a nine-year-old. Why would I do that? I don't know because he's the morning. Because I'm a druid. You know what druids are like. That's why I hang around you. He, he has his hand on this woman and he looks up and in a, if you can possibly believe speaking in a quieter voice than what he already speaks in because you've practically heard him and he's speaking yeah. he says to you her son was taken by his ex Rosny taken and for speaking out against the last festival that we had he was taken for speaking yeah how, how old was this chap? Um, well, the son was maybe in his twenties. Okay, so he wasn't a child. He was he was the he was a he outspoken young man. What he was doing? Who was acting upon his conscience? Well, he shouldn't have signed the contract. <laughs> well, I I will I will if you may, my lady. I will say to the lovely lady. I wish to impart the blessings. Of Maliki upon thee, and I hope for your son's safe return. Back away, run! <laughs> uh, she, she, her, her crying increases. Okay, that wasn't what well, that's gonna happen. <laughs> run, you fool! But you do hear her say thank you. I, I, like, I, I hold my hand over her head. Thank you. It's gone. You know, ruby ruby. Yes, now flee the church, you hypocrite, and go to the orphanage. We, we what? Th- we thought we may find him in the stocks in the square, but he has not turned up there. I have in asked my sister, dress. but she has it's not seen no him. Farm. It's no I'm sorry, I didn't hear that last bit. I have asked my Due sister the music. About, about him, about Udo, but she has not seen him. Udo. Udo. The name of the boy. The son. Uh, sister being the priest's sister? No, being the Burgermeister's oh. wife. You Ooh. did actually know this. Because. I'm sure I did. Burgermeister's but, the wife of the Burgermeister's sister? Hang on, hang on. The priest just no, said, no, I not. asked my sister. Yes. Who is the Burgermeister's wife? Did I just get yes. that right? The priest's sister is the Burgermeister's wife. Have I got yes. that correct? Mm-hmm. Right. Jesus. That was more or less. So we were thinking exactly we were dealing with yet another. <clears throat> In our collection of missing Can't bring down the Burgermeister without hurting the priest. Mm. I, I wonder where this guy could be, Urban. What guy? <laughs> I know exactly where he is. He's, I don't. I don't have a guy. He's in Isaac's do- doll collection. What doll collection? What are you talking about? <laughs> now. Victor, yes. they know something about this Udo guy. Udo, he was Udo. bad. Udo, well, we can ask like him my after dolls. we get back from the orphanage. Udo, son of old lady, go to the orphanage. Start interrogating people. Friend of priest, yes, whatever definitely. his name is. Tell, tell, they, tell, they, tell, they, tell, they, tell me that it's Jedi, Jedi business. Priesty time, brother. Priesty time, time. It's time Priesty for time. the orphanage. Brother, brother of what's her face. <laughs> Why let's go to the orphan area. Burger man. Let's go to the orphan area. Okay, I don't know. Got it. Now we're off to the orphan area. Gene Floss. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness gracious me. Who knew you would find Zach for me? Off to the orphan area. I'm off to the orphan area. I'm off to the orphan area. Tell Urban it's here, or we will sing. I am really regretting staying with this damn, these damn kids today. You're having a good time there. Let's go to the orphanage. You find out what orphanage. happened to you. They're all going to the orphanage. We okay. played Pinocchio. All right. Some games. I'm after some young chap named Milov. You should tell them that as soon as you get there. 
Mm-hmm. I will. Yeah, I'm also not gonna find him. All right. So you arrive um, at the orphanage, like all of the other places in the lucky had seen. Also, it's I'm seen, a priest. It's seen better days. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, as you approach the, um, <coughs> it's got like, what looks like two to three levels. You notice up on the second level, as you walk through, there is a window, but it's being boarded up. Yay! Um, keep me off. <laughs> no, no, they let him out, so it's somebody else. It's all Victor's clone. It's Mungo, the deformed, who must not be seen. You um, you approach the the front door. It's a fairly large place, actually. Right. You approach the the front door. And the front door is open. Anyone can walk in. Yes. They will be murdered. It's because they're all from us. Nobody looks after them too. As you walk in, the front hallway is wood panelled <coughs> and dimly lit. The wooden floors are old and worn, and the steps of the main staircase sag with age. A pile of children's name. shoes lay by the western wall. A pile of shoes? You know, they put all their shoes Children's in. shoes? Yeah. Yes, you know, like at the Holocaust. Um, as you so go in, there's immediately a door to your right, and a little bit further on, there's uh, up the hallway, there's a door to your left. Now I'm convinced everyone's been murdered. I will go to the door to You can hear, to the left, you hear um, children running around and playing. That's just a recording, they've all been murdered. And a recording? I guess you could do that with magic, couldn't you? Um, I think I'll initially just peek in the door or two to the right. Mm-hmm. And if there's anyone in there, I'll pretend I was going to knock it. Yeah, as you go up to uh, that door, yeah. there's in fact a plaque um, on the door to the right, and it mm. says, Headmistress Claudia Belasco. Ah, the headmistress's office. And, I, and is there anyone here? I'm just knocking on the door. Oh, you don't get an answer. There doesn't seem to be anybody oh, there. they all been murdered. <laughs> Can you what? shut up so we can go on? What? I'm going to go towards the sound of children. Okay. So that I can bless them with the power uh, Okay, of so who's in... Who's going with the author? So these two guys... We're not uh, there. They're not there. Everyone Ray's else is character with me. Is, is, Ray's character is with you. Mm. Well, although, whether they, they okay. come into the orphanage with me... I just said we're all invading us. Yes, I'm coming with you. Nazis. As opposed to not about splitting outside. up the group. <laughs> Um, Not even so to stand stand your outside. Outside. I guess so, we're not okay. spinning up the group. So How many of us are there then? There are four. Two, three. There oh, are four right. of you. Right. Four so of like you. a giant know. troop of adults just yeah. wandering around in the, in the old orphanage. It's just four of you wandering around the orphanage without So you go to the mission. door on the left? Yes. Uh, as you open that door, um, it looks like this is the main living area. It's got an old couch, there's some mismatched uh, stuffed chairs, there are like... Um, chests that are overflowing with old worn toys there are two small dining tables that are surrounded by uh, chairs i think other things in this room there are three young girls that are crowding around a dollhouse a quite a quite a big dollhouse in the south part of the room uh there's an older boy probably um dave he's about say 13, 14 yep. uh, years old. He's carrying two, he's got two toddlers on <laughs> each, At 13, 14. Each, each hip and they're both crying and he's trying to, you know, jump and play with them to yeah, you know, so get them going. Yeah, they're after themselves. Um, uh, Saxon, you're run into <clears throat> by a girl that's probably about six and she's not looking where she's going and she smacks straight into you and another boy is... Uh, chasing her, and she kind of mm. looks up. It's what happens in um, <laughs> in in surprise, and looks at you and says, "Hey, you ruined our game." Oh, I'm sorry about that. Could you please tell me where the head med- mistress might be? No, she's smelly, and she runs off. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that's probably you got out of the situation. She, she, she might well be smelly yeah. if she's been changing nappies. All it's though. still better than all being murdered. There's the only other person you can see in this room is an older girl. She's probably about 16, 17. She's sitting on a couch and she's reading to about uh, three or four toddler age, like two, three year old children on a large 
uh, okay. couch. But there is so much noise in this room, and once again, kids are running around everywhere. So, so to actually talk to any of them is going to be his challenge. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I will go to the older boy with the two other kiddies who seems to be. I was going to go as a girl, but then I'd be interrupting her story. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's go to the boy first and see if I can't get something out of him. Um, hello, young, young man. man. I, I was looking for the headmistress. You might not know, you might um, not know where she might be, would you? I, I know she's around. I haven't seen her in a while. How long's a while? 20 Since years. <laughs> oh, an hour or so. Okay, that's fine. Um, you, um, you know, as a uh, perception check. Perception! Just stop talking. Stop, stop simulating non stop forever. I've got. No, right. How do we do this Thank again? You. I rolled a 13 and then I add a thing. Add your perception to it. Zero! That's persuasion. Oh well, perception's above it then. 16. <laughs> Persuader points. Um. As you're talking to him, and he kind of turns around to sort of look to maybe where the headmistress is, and then you know sort of says, "Oh, you know, I probably saw her about an hour ago." Like almost thinking he was right, she was right behind him or something. You mm -hmm. notice he's got some splotch I mean, bruises up his, uh, up his arm. Well, that could be for any number of reasons. Yeah, he fell down the stairs repeatedly. He fell down the stairs. Now, ran to the doorknob. This is this is you know we're in Dickens land right now. So, <coughs> best to wade through with your eyes closed and your nose held high. I guess we could go for a bit more of a look, but I'll ask him while we're here. And uh, uh, June happened to know a young chap by the name of Milov. Milov, he, he works here. Yeah, mm -hmm. where, where, would, where would we find Milov? He's been in his room for a few days now. The Jesus. headmistress says that he's ill. Oh, oh poor fellow. Oh, fellow. He's got great disease. Huh. Well, I am a priest of Maliki. I could give a blessing upon him, and that might be of some help to him. Um, as, as soon as you say you're a priest of Maliki, he bows his head. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'll give a blessing upon you, sir. Young man. Thank you. That's, that's great. I <laughs> uh, appreciate it. The power of moonbeams. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you Always can see this. I'm a brutalized child. Uh, is it, um, Charlton's. Father, I thank you for your blessing, and, and as you can see, I, I need it here. Child. Yes, you are, you are obviously being very helpful, young man. I, I do what I can. I will make a donation to the orphanage. So <laughs> oh, my God. oh, we would <laughs> such appreciate that. We, we do not have a lot. Well, I was, that was my intention when I came in. I thought, I should give a donation because I would put the money. Heaven knows, I'll need it. And it seems like they desperately need it. <coughs> but I don't want to give it to random children, but I'll do that if I can't find the headmistress. Mm. Just give out coins. Okay. That'll cause chaos, won't it? Um, yes. You might want to try the the, um, the kitchen. It's, it's just behind yes. us. Maybe she's in there. Yes, that does seem plausible, does it, boss? Random wandering around. Okay. It hasn't turned out bad for us ever. <laughs> Here's a donation, my lady. How many children can we get for this amount of coins? Who are you talking to? <laughs> He was I'm being facetious. Oh, okay. A hypothetical uh, situation. So, um, well, I'm just thinking about four grown. Well, one of them is oh, not a man. Four adults just wandering around the room inside orphanages. Now. So you're all going together? Why not? Yep. Okay. Irma's insisting we do not break up the party. <laughs> so let's find the kitchen and see what's happening. Uh, he says he, he basically gestures behind yeah, him. Yeah. Okay. behind him. So as you move around the tables, this kind of this room is sort of in an L shape. So as you get to sort of the, the what would be the top part of the L, there's another. Um, you can see outside from there, so it goes um, goes out the back straight ahead of you, um, which looks like quite a large area. And then to the right there is a door, and in fact has a, a written on the door kitchen. There you go. Uh, it also has written below that, "Do not enter." Do not enter. Well, you're bound to obey the rules. Well, that's that's obviously instructions for the children, presumably. Have you noticed a few Um Well, there's a good question. Um, I'll just moonbeam the door then. <laughs> can you even use moonbeams inside? I can do everything. 
Moonbeam is the best goddamn thing ever you've been to. Isn't that a bit, you know, Vietnam-esque? I mean, you know. I just love David in Munchkin mode. I've just seen him on the floor. I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Or... No, I don't okay. know if it's locked. It just says do not enter. Kitchen, Getting do not key enter. From somebody would be too so mainstream, here, obviously. I, this is what I will do. You're you are now on the door. Door. Repair and reorbiting duty. Rubbish. I'm going to knock on the door and just call out. I know what her name is, but I can't remember right now. Ms. Velasco. Velasco. Mistress Miss Velasco. Velaki. Velasco. No, Velasco. Yeah. Uh, you knock on the door, but you don't receive an answer. No response. Everyone's got his money. No, I have money for your orphanage. I have money for your orphanage. I have lots of toys for you to play with. Okay, I'm actually going to try the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the door is the door is unlocked. <laughs> Okay, I have the only reason not to lock it is because they have weapons um, already. I have dark vision if necessary. <laughs> no, no, it's light, en- it's light enough in the kitchen. There's, um, same, just in case. there's nobody uh, in the kitchen, but you can see that there are massive pots and sauce and, and, and whatever to, to cook meals, sort of in. Yep. Is anything uh, boiling oh, away unattended? Oh, 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 oh. Yep, there is something that is boiling away. I don't think. Um, I might, mm, I might adjust it if adjusting my help in some way to stop it boiling over or something. Okay. Um, you don't have an adjustment boiling set. Just Hang as he moves in to adjust boiling? the pot, just a quick glance around. Are there any entrances to mm, this? No, this, this is, is the, the only thing. entrance. Um, oh, as, as he adjusts the the um, pot. Pot. the the pot, Saxon, you notice that just um, oh. above that, but obviously out of out of reach of children, mm-hmm. there's a large knife block, mm-hmm. but the largest knife is missing. It's Jack Nicholson. Run! <laughs> okay, here's Johnny. <laughs> All right. Well, so. so Glance around, it might have been left upon one of these. Here's a thought. Fish tops. Here's a thought, just mm-hmm. in case. Mm-hmm. So something's boiling on the front. Yep. Um, the knife bit. There's a knife bit. The Is there a ladle in the pot top. or something similar? Yes. Check check the pot for body parts. Exactly. I'm going to give the pot a little bit of a stir and yep. see what pops up. <laughs> you want to taste it? No. Hand. Um, um, does it look at all suspicious? It doesn't look like it's... it's it just looks nasty, nasty gruel. Oh, it looks alright. Would you like to try some? No. No, I think it'll be alright. <laughs> it smells delicious, he's actually. Trying fake, he's, he's trying to fake... Well, well, obviously, it hasn't burnt yet. Well, in that nice. case, I guess it's a spoon. Yep. No, no, you'll lose everything. <laughs> just a little bit. No, now you've committed a mortal sin. Just a little bit. Alright. Um, willpower roll. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Jesus, what have I done? What have I done? Drunk myself. Fall for the most obvious trap ever. Now you are an orphan too. <laughs> You're I suddenly am, nine years old. I have you don't know how you got the orphanage. What? Oh Jesus, I did very bad. He's dead. I don't even know. Where do I do willpower? So whatever you the D20 is and then add your... Um, your modifier. Your modifier so too. Where's my modifier? Down here. So it's plus three. So ten. So what, what did you got? A total five. of five. Okay. I seem all right. Okay. Yeah, Tastes you, great. You drown in the soup. Am I dr- <laughs> is, it, is it addictive? Is that what it is? Cocaine. You think it tastes fantastic. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. Maybe she enchants it to make it make the kids think it's fantastic when it's really when it's actually made out of horse feet or something. Yes. Um, in horse fact, you, you say to the you others... Horse horse feet. Feet. Horse feet. You say, in fact, you say to the others that they should try it. You should try some. It's amazing. You should, because we'll I don't think I'll be eating the, 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 the other two guys. Orphans. The other two guys lift him up by the shoulders and walk him out. This is wonderful. Can I roll on persuasion? Everyone yeah. should have yes. some. Well, he finished <laughs> after pot. I did really well. What'd you get? He fights them manfully. <laughs> 18. Okay, <laughs> you guys need to be the roll on 18. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Anyway, would say, but I will fight you manfully. No, the but soup is mine. <laughs> is that on? Is it direct persuasion versus persuasion, or is it some other? What are we rolling? So, 
Yeah, what would you roll on? Willpower. Willpower, so, willpower test yeah, against yeah, 18. You're going to beat 18. <laughs> Having He's failed willpower against yeah, the most powerful person in the universe. Yep, no problem there. Dave is addicted. So you get more than 18? Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, I got 20. That's not a natural roll, but a yeah, okay, yeah. Roll. What do I have to roll? Uh, uh, so roll, roll a d20, add oh. your willpower modified to it. Which is just apparently wisdom, because nobody, I don't know how it was. Yeah, yeah. wisdom. <laughs> Five! Oh, right. Jesus. <laughs> he starts chowing down as well. <laughs> You're both addicted to McDonald's. I've been doing this, I'm a vegetarian. You're both addicted to McDonald's. Soupy soup. Yeah. Are you a vegetarian in this world? Oh, that's a good point. Um, <laughs> you have some urban, it's, it's, you think it tastes delicious. Does okay. Ray? Uh, what, Ray! Ray! What does Ray's modify? I'm doing it now! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Urban, no, what'd you get? No, urban, urban what'd you get? One. Okay, yeah, Ray, Ray has a big spoonful. Okay, people, no. it is not polite to eat the food of orphans. I don't care how good it tastes. We are leaving now. Oh, Leave right it then. alone. You're failing the sure, you know, you it. <laughs> you deny the power of it. You'll be all for your the ball All right, let's go. Get it by the ladle. <laughs> now, the problem is, Hip I class. have... Um, Charisma is my dump stat. I'm not necessarily going to be the most convincing person, even with irate self righteousness in my speech. Uh, so, so they killed you like Nicholas. Cameron. Probably. Um, yeah. Are we going after... to be defeated by Stu? Is that what's <laughs> happening? <laughs> yeah. Looks like. Does that make you stupid? After after Ray oh. has a big uh, spoonful, a total you... kill by Stu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You you hear this. The voice of a, a young girl the, say, "If you like the stew, you should really try the bread." Oh Jesus! Have oh. you come here to eat our food? No, sorry, sorry, mate. The bread. Sorry, miss. We we we're looking for the headpieces. <laughs> <laughs> the <heavy stuff>. Sorry, <laughs> miss. Sorry, we were naturally looking at this pot. We're looking for the headmistress. I was just I was just checking that she's standing at the over. doorway. I was just checking it wasn't going <laughs> She's standing at the doorway because she says the headmistress doesn't like people in the kitchen. I know, I know, but there was nobody here, and we're looking for. <laughs> she is out the back tending the garden. Ah, she's I'll... joined the garden. Thank you very much, Matthias. As she uh, perception roll for each of you that are there, yeah. as, she, as she turns and points out the back. Goodness. Oh, natural 20. <laughs> Saxon, we'll just take yours. Saxon, you oh, notice that as she turns and, and points, mm -hmm. um, her clothes are a little bit small for her. You can see the, the, the pants that she wears. Mm -hmm. um, and also her, her shirt is almost like a, a midriff. Mm -hmm. As she turns and points, it lifts up even more. You see a large red mark in the small of her back. Oh. Ah, there are beatings here. No, you don't think it looks like it's, it's for a 20, um, you don't think it's been caused by being hit. Salt oh. vampire! Oh, interesting. A red well, okay, um, considering that I basically study anatomy as part of my healing skills, can I make a guess at what type of, uh, under medicine, if which is like the plus four modern sort of in, in this case? Can I make a guess as to what type have of six um, in medicine. thing would cause such a wound? You think it's How a bite? that happen? Like because I'm bite. a healer! Like, say, a vampire For a, for a 20, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll tell you that you think like... it is demonic in some way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. demonic? Yes. Yeah. What did I say? Demonic. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure what demonic is. I think sorry. they're Seven Day Adventists. It means the removal of names, I think, is what demonic means. <laughs> Thank you. The removal of names. Okay, the that's an interesting people. piece of information. Oh, yeah. freaking, what's his face isn't isn't a teenager anymore. Who, Milo? The guy who stole the relic bones. That's why he stole them, because he's a demon. What's his name? Milov. Possibly. The one man whose name doesn't start with I or V. Which is probably, I guess, I'm guessing it's that room that's all been boarded up. Yeah, I think that's the next place we. Well, we have to. Well, the headmistress is apparently on the back. I best. Yeah. We best see her before we start wandering around. I the think so. some more. 
That's assuming she's actually there and the children aren't all mesmerised. And and if she doesn't throw us out, and I'll try and pay, buy her off so that she doesn't. Assuming she's still good. alive. By Somebody who actually person. has good um, interpersonal skills and a high charisma score, yes. Yeah, please. And, and a full purse. Nothing sinister about the garden. <laughs> and, a, and a priest. Pe- people, tend, people tend to trust them. Yep, in the garden. Rook, duk, duk, duk. Off they go, into the garden. Okay, and she points it. So, do you go off into the into the, the garden? garden. Oh, Absolutely. Yes. Um, as you pass this girl and she watches you go, um, Urban, with your keen sense of hearing, being a thief, you hear this girl mutter under her breath, "Good luck with Ms. Witch." Ooh, the garden. So what do we do? Beat her to death? What's happening? Well, we have to burn her at stake. Ah! She's a witch! Burn her! Well, no. First, let's see if she weighs more than a duck. So, so we're, no, we're no, doing no, some no, kind no. of modern art installation over there, Saxony. Yes. Grace. Grace. Sword. Collecting my pegs and lining them up. Moment for the first time in her life, she was just yeah. about wetting herself. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't start, you know, I don't know. Um, Taking the pegs off the ones that are holding my other pants. Oh, quick on poll. <laughs> how, how much do you want to bet? How many graves do you want to better in the garden? Okay. Tiny, small, children sized um, graves. So that'll all be in the well. You know, With Jeremy. Uh, that will be 900 baby corpses in the bloody septic tank. Oh Jeremy goodness. in how, the well! Was it, was it, nine, it was some insane yeah. number. It was some anyway, insane are we heading outside? What are we have been here for a while. Seeing it's 9.30, want to. Yeah. So let's press on. Um, yes, please. So, uh, yes, well, I guess I go to, and I call out to 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 to, to Madam or Ms. or whatever she's name is, Blomsky or Blomsky or Blimsky. <laughs> the um, Blazka. Blazka. <laughs> the backyard, which is a, a fairly large area, it's surrounded by a wooden fence with a single gate on the west side of the. Um, the on the west side, yep. single gate. Okay. Uh, there's a trio of outhouses stand on one side of the yard, and there's a well on the on the other. Yeah, don't look down there. <laughs> there are three large wash basins pushed up against the wall of one of the outhouses. Yep. Um, and you notice that two teenage girls there are looks like they're washing some laundry and an elderly lady is tending to a vegetable patch. Alright, I call out her name again. Hey, All vampire right. witch person. What, what do you call out? Oh, I don't know if you can be fair. Well, probably <laughs> Madame Blasco would be. Is, uh, is ex- ex- yeah. Yeah. She, she looks up, up and, see, and seems puzzled that she has people walking towards her. She stands up, cleans her hands, and mean? goes and walks I'm, I'm forward and press you really uh, over to you. Forehead. See if it burns. Greetings, madam. Yes? How I, can I help you? I am a priest of Maliki, and I wish to... to... We already gave at the church. <laughs> Make inquiries about young Master Oh no, we, we have no money for you here. One thing at a time. Be on your way, traveller. Be ever on your shirt. Why? Why would an orphanage you give to a church? No, I'm here to provide a donation to the orphanage. Why indeed? Oh, she's, she seems to take it back. She literally <laughs> takes a step back. And to provide and a blessing to the children. Oh, my apologies. Even more importantly, my apologies. I was. Uh, under complete misunderstanding of why you were here. Also, also, I'm, I'm looking. I don't know why I have this accent when I, I am an accent. elf with the name Carrick Fergus. But anyway, <laughs> Peter Baelish. What, what I'm going with right now, apparently. Uh, Are these members of your congregation? <laughs> Say you. Oh, they're my colleagues. They're, 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 they are also interested in, um, in small children. They're also interested in charitable donations. So they are men and women. They have means. Now, they're in a club. And they like virtue. watch. Shut up. And. <laughs> oh dear, we're into Three Stooges territory, aren't we? Go on. Make another donation, I want to watch. I have another purpose, so I wish to speak to some young man by the name of Milov. 
got his name right. You can see, apart from the raggedy sort of clothes that the children wear, she is actually quite well dressed. She? Very high. Very oh, high, she, she, sorry, I thought it was yeah, very yeah, high collar. Her yeah. hair is in a very tight bun. Bits of grey, probably more grey than someone maybe in her 50s should actually oh, have. Her, her eyes are quite like sunken and hollow. Like she spends many sleepless. Oh, uh, she's nice. preserving her natural life. No, Beyond I think I think, think they said she looks older than her. Is that what I got? Yes, Prematurely aged. aged. So the opposite of what? Yes. That's what they look like. The opposite of what they are. Whatever, Peter. Now. For what it's worth, I can sympathise. My character looks older than he is too. Maybe if we um, uh, go to your office, we can talk about um, providing a, a uh, donation. One of the teenage girls that's doing laundry says something, and then the other one giggles. And the, the woman looks over, and then they quickly go back um, to, what, to what they were doing. Urban, you hear that the, one of the teenage girls says... I bet she eats them. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, these, these are all red herrings. Yeah. Now we have to just get says, a lot of Sure. Let's go to my office. My office. All right. Office. Um, you once again reach that door. It says. Headmistress uh, Claudia Velasco. Um, it's Velasco. a relatively a modest office space, and it's got um, oh, a desk set in front of a aged fireplace. Uh, there's bookshelves lining the north wall, and those bookshelves mainly seem to contain uh, documents and some volumes of books. Not I or any recipes or anything. Neuter recipes? I neuter recipes. Ah. In fact, you can see that on the volumes there are various dates. Oh, um, sort of, yeah. uh, written down. Oh, yeah. People who've come and gone. Yeah, all the ones they put in the last 500 years. <laughs> um, oh, I now know what you're referencing, yeah. She uh, goes around her hands you were about my and sits at, <laughs> sits at her desk. And she puts her it. arms up on her desk, crosses her fingers this way, and she goes, Please be seated. It's Emperor of Happy Dance. I sit. For some sing. reason, there's organ music playing back. Now, you were saying something about a donation. Yes, yes. Um, I'm thinking twenty gold pieces would be would be good. Jesus, that's generous. Yeah, I thought I'd go generous. That that would help the children immensely. I yes, I noticed. You. I noticed that they're lacking in decent clothing. I do what I can. Mm. These mm -hmm. these children are. Call me all sorts of names and, and how to say horrible things about me. Yet, they are fed, they are looked after, and Thank I you. don't mind. And she smiles a bit when she says that they think that I eat children. <laughs> Whatever keeps law and order around here, I oh, say. Oh, I see. Do they have any reason to think you would eat children? There's a question. I'm never going to get the right answer to. <laughs> Do you beat your wife, sir? Yes, often. <laughs> well, I have my days. Mm, I know discipline. When and it must be challenging a teacher. <laughs> it must get quite unruly. I do understand. Discipline power. Keep order just well. Some of the older girls, two of the boys, are fairly sensible and it helped me. Yes, I did meet a couple of children who have clearly been helping helping out. The younger ones can be right scampers. Yes, as they often are at that age. But you're twenty Yes I'm gold. I'm piling it up on me. <laughs> ah you go a long way into Dink. improving every answer every uh, question she answers Dink. Dink. I, uh, Dink. I do have as you might have noticed as you walked in, a window that I need repairing. Mm -hmm. Oh, window! Is it just magic? Again? Perhaps one of my colleagues would like to make a donation towards. <laughs> I believe that would be appropriate. The repair of the window. I'm so glad I'm not there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too at the moment, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Saxon? 
I I'll did. do a quick mental estimate of how much a window repair would cost. Oh, you know, it, it, to, a donation towards it. <laughs> yes. Um, Five gold pieces. I just gave them a small enough. fortune myself. Yeah. yeah. So don't. This is do why I, I doubt if it would be up to 20 gold, probably oh, somewhere in the road. More like two. I would give them five. Right? Yeah, 500. <laughs> you are being difficult, Peter. So By yes. the way, I did subtract that 20. I didn't just say the only income I've had recently came from Milov's work at the Oh church. yes, Milov. So it's it's and Milov. One of the reasons I have come is to well, he Milov. works at the church and yes. then brings in. Well, he's he's a very generous young man. He used to be an orphan here. So I know, I know. I heard. And from now him. he helps us out by working at the church, keeping no money, I believe, for himself, and then donates the money to the orphanage to care for what he regards to be his brothers and sisters. That is Although, very noble of the young man. Not related, of course. Mm-hmm. No, but nevertheless, well, for him, as far as he is concerned, he grew up with them. So but the money has, has been scant of late because he has not worked. He has been ill, I hear. He, he seems to be quite ill. Um, I have tried... Um, various elixirs for him, but nothing seems to be making him better. I am skilled as a priest of Maliki, I am skilled in the healing arts. If I may, I would like to if you could take a uh, look visit at him and for me, then yes. um, I would be most appreciative. I've done everything. Myself and my colleague, who is also skilled in the like healing arts. Mm-hmm. I believe between our two um, methodologies, we can probably find something in what between. One, one, one. Yes. Like the other two should go with you just in case he turns so, out to be a soft so vampire. He's, 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 good just in, he's good just in case it really gets bad. So yeah. if he's already dead, you'll be able to bring him back to life. And no can question. <laughs> yes, I am fine. <laughs> nope, nope. I next. am a dolly man. <laughs> dolly, dolly, dolly. Technically oh, speaking, the next time done. we go up a level, I automatically get animate dead, regardless of whether I want it or not. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> never be lonely. I mean, necromancy dead. literally means speak with the, the dead. dead. Yes. So you don't. You don't. Old necromancers to... never die. <laughs> Sorry, what's the rest of it? No, no, that's it. Old necromancers <laughs> never die. Which, of course, is. He's one of the oldest con jobs in the world. Oh, yes. yes, I didn't speak with the dead. I wish you'd go speak with the living. I, I can feel, I can feel the, the name Derek. Does the name Derek mean anything to anyone? You mean Eric? You know oh, Eric, yes, of course. I had a student who was, who was, who, He was who, your who brother, no, seen cousin. A, um, seen a person talking with the dead. And I felt really bad later on, but what I did was I actually demonstrated I could do it too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the cold reading thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the kid just looks at me and goes, That's amazing. You're, you, are you a wizard, sir? <laughs> no, I'm a con artist. <laughs> no, I, I did eventually say, No, no, you don't understand. I did what he did, which is basically being a reasonable amateur psychologist. Yeah. And telling yeah. you what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah that and making reason, safe, relatively safe assumptions. Mm. Go talk to the undead fiend in the bed. And and just and just continuing to try things until something works. Well, also because you people s- forget all the mistakes you make yes. and remember the connections. The other thing is you anyway. do you do questions which do you a hint about personality type. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So we're being, I'm imagining we're going up to the room that's all boarded up. That's what I'm imagining. Oh, okay. No, it's, um... No, it's a different room. Of course it is. No, you that's, go, where, that's where Mungo the Mutant is. She comes out of her yeah, office and she says, um, please follow me this way. And she goes up the, up the stairs. Does yes. she look like this? When, if you wish her to, I guess she can. She goes up backwards. Like an exorcist. <laughs> I like the blinds of dragon. Um, and you reach the second floor hallway. <laughs> um, it has uh, six different doors, m- most of which are wide open. Cheers, There's master, a cheers, single master. door uh, at the north end of the hall. That one is closed. Uh, there's also a hatch on the ceiling in the southern end of the room. 
The hallway's only window on the southern wall is broken and it's boarded up, as I mentioned. Ah, yes, that's... that's who made a donation to repair that? Yes, I put in five gold pieces. Right, okay. You should investigate the door at the end of the hall. Why? Because it's the only one that's closed. Well, at the moment, I think we have to go where the matron sends us rather than wander around. I know. Know. When, when you're alone. alone. When you're alone. It's a when little bit alone. darker um, up here on this landing because the window is. Mm. is boarded up as well. There's still light enough I'm, to see. I'm half tempted to cast fairy fire, but I won't. <laughs> she dies of a heart attack, you have to hide the body. Push it out. It's making you collect it. It's three Put people it in the box. <laughs> oh, dude, no. Um, the Ew. three, the characters of the three players who are here all have um, more... Well, no, no, no. Yeah, but um, Ray's character is human. He doesn't have um, night dark vision. vision. No. Dark vision. No. Everybody else does. Yeah, everyone else does. Yes. We, 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 we find this is enough, like, I also have a spell which which gives dark vision to people who don't have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry it's so dim up here. The window, we've had an accident. No problems. What was the accident? Right. A young boy... Fell um, out of Cedric jumped oh dear. from the window because he saw the truth. Is he still? Is he okay? No, no. no he's died. He passed away. Ah, that is unfortunate. May the blessings of the Licky, the Licky is beyond helping him. Bring his soul. Dreamed me in a few days when I've leveled that. All right. So um, I assume we're going. I to can fix that. The Lord's room now. Yeah. Okay. I look. I remember the boy's name. I'm amazed. Uh, I also wrote it on the back of my character. in the bed. Um, this bedroom is sparsely furnished, the floors are covered with dirt, an old shovel uh, lies propped up uh, that's his, uh, against yes. the, yes, that's his, uh, implement. the foot of the foot of the bed. Yep. His tool um, of the trade. You see uh, a man that's about 16, 17 yep. years old. He is asleep, but he is turning and twisting and turning and he is covered in sweat uh, and as you get closer to him you see that he has um, like a blood bile sort of on his lips and he's he's, he's, he's quite yellow in his, in his skin like mm. he is it's troubled by a fever and he has the the jaundings Okay. Um, make I presume a and medical diagnosis roll. You can you can use either. Uh, Try to come up with some old fashioned way of saying jaundice. Mm-hmm. That's wisdom. Sort of <laughs> yeah, this Twenty. Yeah. We make independent yeah. diagnoses. Yeah, I get a total of nineteen. It's a plague. It's a mild On oh, medicine, um, I got yes. twenty. From by the way. from that <laughs> roll, uh, you. You believe that his condition is both magical in nature, but it is not contagious. Yeah, he's got fairy floss. Weirdly enough, I could actually cast to take magic to see if that, I don't okay. know if that would work. Would yeah. that work on his disease? And then, no. could we potentially cure him through some sort of magic? Depends spell? on. We'll find out what it is first. Then find out what it is, basically. Well, I can um, start with the detect magic, and I will yep. cover. Cover it by well, maybe it doesn't matter in this world where magic's probably somewhat common. You're a priest, they but I'm casting. I'm can't, I'm making. Do you, do you think you can heal him? Well, first I need to make cast. A, must ask from Licky's aid to divine the source of his canker. We can't get any worse, I suppose. Oh, Maliki. cast your mighty moonbeams upon him. Oh, it's not about this. Like. But don't burn him to death. Hang on. No, not today. It, yeah, it, it really does depend on whether he's actually been expelled or whether it's some sort of ongoing uh, a magical attack by a magical critter. So I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Go. Um, I'm not sure how, to, how I do this. For all the duration, you sense the yep. presence of magic within 30 feet of you. Yep. If you sense magic in this way, you can use the action to see a faint aura. Do I need to roll on anything? Or I don't think you do. I think you just, just happen to. Yeah. Zing! Mm-hmm. But I make a little show of it. Um, in terms of a prayer, you. Um, 
um, from that, you detect traces of necromancy magic as if from a bestow curse spell. A bestow curse. Yeah. So, so you think he's being cursed? He's not actually sick, but he's being cursed. Mm. So to to how are we going to dispel a curse? I'm not sure I have a spell. Well, this. Have, I've got done. dispel magic, but I want to check to see what you sort to. of extent. I might go to the bathroom while you discuss the curse because he pinched the bone. So the mm. way to undo a curse is to undo the thing that caused the curse in the first place. Or he may. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think you just return the bones to where they come from, he'll be cured. We'd have to find the blood bones first. Yeah, and in that regard, we'd probably need to get him coherent I'm, I'm, enough I'm to feeling, actually ask yeah, him. Yeah, or, feeling, he, or you could just search his room. Because, while the matron is here somehow. Yes. yes. Um, if I was there, I could Although, although weirdly enough, given that I just cast Detect Magic, if the bones were in the room, I'd probably know where they were. Are the bones magical, though? Well, I mean, they cast, they, they provide a protection. Yeah, but mm. the, as a holy relic, we could be considered spiritual rather than magical. This is true. Oh, I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure will, what this distinction is in D&D. I will ask Dave when he gets back. I will yes. cast my eyes around the room and see if I can't find a, see a magical aura coming from anywhere else. Because if it has one, a basic, a basic detect magic spell should do the job. Exactly. But, I mean, so it might be a case of he was under some compulsion of which the curse is part of it, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like there's some evil fiend mastermind at the centre of all this madness. You touch all a creature creature and a creature exactly. Must exactly. Must I'm, I'm, I mean, the curse, he may have been cursed before he took the bones, and in fact the incentive may have been to take the bones well, to protect either to lift the curse or to protect himself from the curse. Well, looking at things, if we take what Dave said literally and the actual thing is literally the spell bestow curse, then it's a third level spell. I can get rid of it automatically with dispel magic okay, cast at third level. The question at hand is, Go. are the bones as a holy relic considered magical? <clears throat> Meaning, if we did detect magic... Mm-hmm. Would we be able to detect the bones? Probably. So what I'm going to do is glance around the room mm-hmm. to see if I can see an aura coming from somewhere else. I'm going to try and do it reasonably surreptitiously so rather than openly. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus! Do, do it while you're soon. looking. Look, look thoughtfully. Actually, actually, I can, I can, I can. Yeah, I can. Well, I can do that, but I can also say maybe there are evil vapors causing the cankers. Possibly, yes. That around. might be a good cover as well. Could be suffering from the gnats. Seriously, they might be. It might. Act, they might actually be in the soup. Indeed. In which case, I've got the cankers. So <laughs> I'm glancing around. Well, 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 in, the, in that regard, in, in that regard, surreptitiously check both Sean and. Um, Elephant or um, race character. I'm, I'm probably missing. Well, in, t- in, my, in my so it won't be a glance actually because I've made this show that the the vapors. Mm-hmm. I can just sort of go in a circle and look all the way around like this. Do no. the hand movements, jazz hands. You detect no other magic in the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, then yeah, apart from the fact that his body is glowing. Mm. You're gonna to have to bring back the hydrated soup and dump it in front of the breeze and go. There's your bag. <laughs> we don't. Oh my god! Jumping to conclusions again. <laughs> no, he never does that. So here's, here's the trick. Do we want to? Mo- Not that we can really confirm, but we're going to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> if you dispel magic, do, am I making a show of I'm drawing on my own power to do so? Maybe that's oh, why not. No, actually, looking at this, it says bestow curses affected by the remove curse spell, which I don't have. I've got the spell magic. I might be able to temporarily get him coherent, and we could actually ask him well, about. That's a, well, maybe he's coherent now. No, he's and asleep. No, he's not. You need to make him coherent. Yeah. We haven't tried waking him. Uh, well, I'll ask the matron. Does he have moments of lucidity? Whatever that was over the last couple of days, no. No. Ah, that is unfortunate. That's what I've asked Radagast. What? That's what I've Radagast. Does Radagast have moments of lucidity? Probably not. No, he's always on the mushrooms. <laughs> um. Radagast. 
Turn down. I found another truffle. Turn down. Oh, don't say crap, yes. Stop. Chairman's <laughs> rice. Sorry, I should be. Don't worry about it. Just leave it, man. Leave it. Don't go down. Too late. Right. It's dry. No, you've broken it over. You've broken it. It's all. It just gets worse and worse. Don't do it over. No. Oh, I'm going to do it. No. Can you get out, mate? <laughs> no. No, 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 you're trapped. No, it's alright. Please, do not let me blast you away. Um, do it. Make a roll. For what? For destroying magic. Something. <coughs> For finding magic bones. I already tried that. Did well. Dispel the things that you can talk to this idiot. Okay. Well, let's just try dispel magic simply as a temporary stopgap. It might not work in the long run. As I said, remove curse would be better. So choose one creature object. Hold up. Let me just double check to make sure I've actually rememorized it for the day. Um, dispel magic. Yes. Okay. Aha. Okay. Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within area. Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends for each spell of fourth level or higher on the target. Make an ability check not applicable in this case. The this, yep. Okay, so you simply cast now, this now, spell. Now, now, before he does this, yep. I'm going to say to the, to, to the woman, yep. Madam Blavsky, or whatever it is. Balasco. Balasco. I've written it here. Balasco. Yes. Madam Balasco. Miss Lovecraft. May I have? Would it be okay if you could fetch a bowl of cool water so that we might? And then, and then, his and then run into the whole corridor. She leaves. Oh, oh, excellent. She's out of the room for a minute. Something will give her. <laughs> yes. Make him coherently and really close and say, What did you do with the bombs? <laughs> well, probably. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we'll so, um, down the gate tunnel. Do the dispel magic now. We'll do that. And I'll also let's not throw yell out our plans at each other. Just do it. Well, I have out of the room. The spell magic. Did you succeed? Uh, it is, doesn't seem to have changed. Mm-hmm. I was worried about that. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you wish to do? This is the most relaxing day's role play we've ever had, isn't it? Yeah. I think they should go down what the corridor and check that damn door. Okay. What if that's not really him? What is the there a okay. the other the room? The player can't think it's of anything else to do. All right, I'm going to Can I do a, a, a oh, right, role for the character to think of something else? You could do a sneakies. I'll sneak out look in that other room. Oh, thank God. Yes. So, what are you doing? Thinking I have to look in the other door. The door at the end of the corridor. Oh, okay. Snaking. Snaking. Uh, now, hold on a second. Yeah. Remove so curse. What? You would go again. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm thinking because Let you me might look have it up in the monster manual. I'm sure. No, I'll no <laughs> you might have access to it as oh, a um, sighting. Oh my god, what the hell? He looks like a computer from my Oh, hang on, I think I know what these are. Fuck those beasties. Oh, they're the stupidest things in D&D ever. <clears throat> okay, so, no. Herman, you, um, you go to that door, you go, yes, it is closed, but it's not locked. I'll open it and have a look. Okay. As you oh, open it, kissy, kissy. Uh, what you notice is that there are three uh, cribs, or cradles. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, in this room, a uh, chest of drawers, an old stuffed chair. You see the two babies are uh, sleeping peacefully in two of the cribs. The third crib is is empty, uh, but also in this room is a, a teenage girl who's holding um, a, a small baby, and she's gently humming as as she sits uh, rocking in a chair and when she sees you come in she stops humming and goes okay I'll close the door and go out again and then when you look down it's a dead puppy what okay, <laughs> okay it's 10 o'clock now at my house of horror time <laughs> the bones <laughs> she's got the bones yeah, puppy yeah, it's 10 o'clock um 
I'm afraid we've hit a bit of an impasse here. I yeah, can't really think of anything else to do. That's all right. Well, she, she returns to the cool bowl of of water. Let's give it a couple of minutes. Okay. Water. Oh, we've got a couple Let's of minutes. Let's say two more minutes. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. She returns to the cool bowl of water. Okay. I, um, uh, and she says, so, any progress? Um, no, I'm afraid not. What have you tried? Looking at She's this, she probably is. I'm thinking that he may actually have a magical curse on him. He I'm is. trying for the life of me to think where it could have come from and how to actually. What remove makes it. you think it's a curse? Okay, Mish will actually describe the effects and what they mean, and try to keep it simple for layman's terms. You know something of necromancy. I know something of it, yes. She knows something of necromancy now. Some might have you uh, teachings unnatural. I know natural. something of it yourself. Please come with me. Oh, 823! Let us tell us the fable of Dark Plagueis. She, um, do, you, do you follow him, or is, <laughs> or is he going to go by himself? No, oh, okay. Urban just... No, no, no. Go. Urban insists we do not split the party. Yeah, we're all going together. So all of you go together? All okay. Together. She, takes you, <laughs> she takes you... She takes you back down into... Look her, into the cauldron. ...her office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, That's she says... Boy. The boy, mm-hmm. the boy, Cedric, who committed suicide. Yes. The magician. At least. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is what one of the other boys, the last Felix, unicorn. said. Well, there is doubt. I have my doubts. I ah. found on Cedric's uh, body this, and she pulls open her drawer <laughs> and and pulls out a uh, old rusted uh, um, tin. And in this tin is a uh, a locket that is black with um, a black chain. Now the locket itself is a circle, and it has an X um, scratched uh, into the lid, Ooh. and it is engraved with an inscription uh, on the um, on the locket. On the outside of it, mm-hmm. and on the outside of the locket, it says, "Let darkness hide from the gaze of the light." Nothing suspicious. And well, that's not that's necromancy. Somebody write that down. Sorry, that's okay. not necromancy. No, that's what's it say? Can you read that? Out? Let the darkness hide, hide from, from the gaze the of the light. So, in other words, it's a, it's it seems like some kind of warding spell kind mm-hmm. of thing for evil. But there's a big someone scratched a cross into it, which presumably is some attempt to disable it or something. Because that's, I assume it's not intentionally part of it, you know what I mean? Like in its original design, it's, yeah. It sounds like it's been altered for mm. magical purposes, yes. Um, not to be confused with, um, with, uh, I'm not sure how this is relevant to necromancy to me. You want to do something real? Well, not to be confused with, um, mu- with, um, acapella music, which would be altered for magical purposes. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. And he's actually not really and dead. Anyway, so yes, oh, with that mystery, we all finished the session. Excuse, Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, God. Gentlemen. Which actually protects... Gentlemen, there is a matter of great importance that demands your attention. Mm-hmm. What's that? Which is... With that mystery, we end the session. What does it porpend? <laughs> what does it porpend or forfend or prepend? The bones are evil. You do extend. <laughs> <laughs>